Hi guys and welcome back to channel. Please subscribe and please share if you haven't done so yet. Now today, my little bit of experience for you. I'm a professional baker and I ought to know best, but we don't always get everything quite right. So I'm now gonna share with you what happened. Yesterday, it was a simple job of making a straightforward Victoria sponge. Now, that is dead simple to most people. And if you can't bake, well, you know, this is what happened. First and foremost, I weighed up the flour, like you do, put it all in the bowl, put me butter and me sugar in, give it a good mix up, really, really so it's nice and light. Then I add me eggs in. Everything seems to be going right this time. Anyway, everything's spot on. Anyway, so cut a long story short, took it off the machine bowl, put it on the table. I thought, oh, right, okay. This looks a bit drier than what I would have expected. But there, bear this mind, Victoria sponges, I haven't made one for a long time, so out of my head. So anyway, I just carried on with it. So I folded in the flour, thought nothing of it. I thought, okay, my bit a bit tighter than normal, but then I thought, oh, oh well, I'll put in the tins. If it's a failure, then it's a failure. Hey, these things happen. So I thought everything's going fine. Oven's up to temperature, spot on 180. Couldn't dream for a better temperature oven. It was spot on. Oh, I'll put the tins in the middle oven. Oh, I thought nothing of it that goes in. I thought, oh, that's fine. Everything's going fine. And I, I thought it's only a 25 minute time. That's all it takes for a Victoria sponge. No longer, or if it does, 30 minutes at the max. I thought, oh, right, okay, fine. Anyway, pops him in like you do. I was watching the oven. 15 minutes in, oh, they were coming up perfect. Top of the tins, I thought, oh, excellent job. I'm surprised. You know, I, I, you know it was a bit tight to start when I, I was a bit surprised. Anyway, 25 minutes in and they're still white. And I just realized, oh, damn. The fan assisted oven, it was heat, but no fan. So all it was doing is blowing around nothing. Because there was no fan, it was just hot air. And because the electric element is at the back of the oven, the one I was using, all it was doing is throwing that heat this way. So you can see on the side of the sponge, a bit of brown, and that was it. Anyway, three quarters of an hour in, okay. I've had enough, they're coming out. Another hour, I could have baked a full blown cake. So I poured them out and they were soft as hell. The height was perfect, it was spot on, you couldn't believe it, and I thought, that's it, throw them away. Anyway, today, I thought we'll have another go. Like you do, mixed up the, the fat, sugar, mixed the eggs, folded in the flour, Everything's great. I thought it couldn't have got better. In the tins, this time I didn't have the oven. So I popped up the coffee shop, whipped out the oven and switched it on. I thought, oh great, no, nothing to this. 180, fine. I thought, set the timer like you do. I thought I have it on my phone. I know exactly when to come down. Walk back down to the bakery. Thought nothing of it. I thought, oh great. All right, I goes back to the shop. I thought, oh my God, what have I done? And then the penny just dropped. How on earth can you make a Victoria sponge out of bread flour? Yes, I know. How can I do that? I'm a professional baker. I ought to know you shouldn't be able to do that. But actually, Looking at the results you'll see now, you'll just turn around and say, well, actually, that is possible. Now, I didn't think, you know, I've not done this myself. Bread flour, I can understand bread flour for big cakes and th different things. But for this particular, for Victoria sponge, bread baking flour and Canadian flour at that, I did not expect 
what you can see now. Well, I've got to say it turned out really, really well. It was a little bit overbaked because obviously, because it wasn't self-raising flour, it didn't have the lift. So, and realistically, instead of 25 minutes, they should have been pulled out around about 20 minutes. So that wasn't a problem. I mean, I put the cream in, the jam in, I've dusted the top with icing sugar, and I've got to tell you now, guys, if someone said to me, bread making flour don't make a Victoria sponge, well, I'll tell you now, guys, a Victoria sponge made out of bread flour is spot on. So, if you've got a problem and you haven't got any, you can make a Victoria sponge out of bread baking flour. So, you don't need self-raising flour. I'm not recommending you do this. i done it, but I don't expect you to do it. But, if you wanted a sponge or something, and you wanted to use bread flour, there's no reason why you can't use it. Anyway, guys, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you in the next video. And hopefully, I shall make a Victoria sponge properly. Now, the recipe is below the video in the description if you want to follow it before I actually physically make it properly. Anyway, we'll see you again shortly. Laters!